an example of how a very ancient, uh, how a very ancient folkway can be incorporated into our culture without us even realizing it uh, and is provided by discussing Amanita muscaria. If you go to the Encyclopedia Britannica and you look up Santa Claus, they'll tell you that it has to do with St. Nicholas and it got started in the 11th century. And it's a, But when you look at the Santa Claus story, it's a perfect uh, uh, mythologium to analyze from this point of view because look what's going on with Santa Claus. First of all, Santa Claus's colors are red and white, the colors of the Amanita muscaria, for sure. Santa Claus lives at the North Pole. What does this mean? It means that Santa Claus lives at the Axis Mundi, where Yggdrasil, the magic world ash of Welsh mythology, has uh, taken root. Santa Claus flies. This is what shamans do. Santa Claus is the master of the reindeer, the animal most associated with the Amanita muscaria. Santa Claus is aided in his work by troops of elves. And what is the work of Santa Claus? To build toys for children. Remember the DMT thing saying, look at this, look at this. Well, those were off-duty elves, clearly. Um, and and so, so here are all the motifs, and I believe that for children in our culture, that all the Christer stuff is not what Christmas is about. Christmas is about standing in front of the tree on Christmas morning with the gifts arrayed and the twinkling lights on. Well, that tree is the tree that the Amanita muscaria forms its symbiotic relationship to. It's always spruce or pine that it has a mycorrhizal relationship to. So the number of motifs relating Santa Claus to a cult of Amanita muscaria, there's almost nothing but relational motifs there. And yet if you suggest this to people, they just back away in horror, you know. <laughs> well, uh, 